Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and let's talk about the residential side. So at this point, we should have a house constructed, and we should have everything in a working folder. So on this site project, uh, there is a file right here that is the home plan. And what I'm going to do, instead of uh, having you go and find it in different places, uh, we're just going to put it right here, So you or use the download one so that it's convenient. However, there are a couple of tweaks we need to make before we can put our house on it. There's also some things you are going to have to go in and annotate on this, uh, but this is mostly about getting the uh, site ready to use. So you're going to click on this and download it. I downloaded mine to a folder that has my uh, home in it. So in this case, I'm doing a practice project with a tiny house. So I'm going to click Show in Folder, and you can see I have my house and my site. All right. So we're going to open up the site and it's going to say, do you want to upgrade this model? Because this was made over 10 years ago. So you're going to go ahead and click upgrade and it's going to take a few minutes to do this. Okay. So that's probably going to go faster on your computer. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit save because it's been upgraded. And there's a couple of things to do. So when it first opens up, you'll notice on this right side, there's three little dots. These were some pieces that were being used for by the original modeler, and they did not get rid of them. So we're going to left click here and drag across them so we can select them all and then click delete and they're going to go away. All right. Another thing that we see here is that there should be a water main line that cuts through these fire hydrants. There's a fire hydrant right there. So it should go through all of those. So it'll start at the top of the model and go all the way down to the bottom. And that's a missing line. So what we're going to do is go to annotate, choose detail line, choose the style water. Okay. Then we're going to draw a line that intersects these fire hydrants going from the top to the bottom. So let me zoom in a little bit from here all the way down to there. And if you can hit escape, zoom in on that, you'll see now that we have a water line that goes through the water mains intersecting the fire hydrants. Okay, and there's the label. All right, that's the first thing we need to do. I'm gonna hit escape a couple of times to get out of that. Now we need to add a new elevation that is going to be the ground level for our house. If you go to the east elevation, you'll notice something odd. We have the levels here that normally start with an architectural template, and this is where our site actually is. And that is because, if we go back to our level here, floor plan, not changing, there we go. You'll notice that that's 769 feet, that's 770 feet. So these are the altitudes, or yeah, the elevations, not altitudes, elevations of the property. So we know that our, we want our the ground floor of our house to be around 770-ish. So this is going to be kind of a matter of preference for you. It just needs to have your house above the ground. So we need to add another level. So we're going to go back to that east elevation, and I'm going to zoom out and zoom in on these and get where we can see them. So this is level one and this is level two. We're going to add a third level. So we're going to go to architecture and this button here that says level. And then we're going to line up at the end of that and go all the way across until they line up again. And then I'm going to zoom in right here. You see how it's got that endpoint? I'm going to click on this one again this endpoint, click it and drag it down to the first level. Okay, and we don't need that one. That didn't work the way I thought it would. Try it again. Zooming in on this one from here to here. There we go. It should be 14 feet or whatever. I just kind of randomly drew it. So now what we can do is I want this from the very lowest level, level one to level three. I want that to be 770. Okay, so we're going to click on this one. 
It's not what I want. Okay, so I was having some trouble there. Okay, so what I did is there was a measurement between these two, so I deleted it. So now we're going to go click on this one and this one. Actually, now that I've got those two connected to each other, so what I did is I click this. So now we're going to go edit this number here and make that 770 or 7071 or 70 and one half. Okay, so if I zoom out, now I have that measurement there, and that's connected between the bottom one and our new level 3, which is way up here. And if you zoom in on this, this is just above the dirt for most of the side. It kind of cuts in over here. So we're going to take level 3, rename it house, ground level, and then yes. All right, that's enough for this video. We have added the water main, deleted some extra parts, added a third level that we call house ground level that is 770 feet above level one.